Hello, what's up? Welcome to my kitchen. This is a realistic what I eat in a week as a New York City vegan food lady who's really trying to keep her food under a budget because I haven't gotten a sponsorship in a while. It's fine. I'm fine. Oh, just just some disclaimers. I'm not a dietitian. I am just a random foodie girl. So like, don't take this video as how you should eat. This is just us hanging out, me showing you what I eat. In the morning I drink a coffee and also I take a multivitamin or I take an omega vitamin. Um, I just don't usually shoot it because like, I don't like being on camera in the morning, but just so you know that I eat that. But without further ado, let's just head straight to the video. Good morning. Okay, here's my breakfast. We have uh, Omni pork strips with dinosaur kale. We have roasted purple sweet potato, and we have spring mix. And then I made tahini sauce. It's not the best because we didn't have any lemons, so I used red wine vinegar instead of lemons. So it now has like a little vinegary taste to it, which is not my favorite, but it's better than no sauce. So now we put it on my plate and we can do a little taste test. Bon appetit. It works. This is a gluten-free seeded bread from a company called 16 Mill. They also make amazing pastries. I've never tried their bread before, but I'm, bleh, but I'm about to have it now. I'm gonna add some peanut butter and jelly and it's gonna be kind of like a small lunch. The owner of Seed and Mill also gave me this like natural peanut butter to try. Her name's Talia and this is the peanut butter she uses in her baked goods. And then I added a marmalade. Let's try it. Mmm, she does a good job. It's definitely a more hearty bread, but it's delicious. I didn't record my dinner last night, but I have a good reason. Let me, let me tell you. My little brother turned 21, and I promised I would take him out for his 21st birthday. So, we went to what used to be and beer, but it's now third kingdom and i took him on a little tasting menu i took some pictures so you could see some of the things we ate and then afterwards i took him to spicy moon and we had a couple drinks we had a sesame ball they do great sesame balls we had a little mochi we had a great time this is me and my brother a little too drunk we drank a little too much but you know it's his 21st you have to live a little um and then i came home and I was a little tipsy, I really was. And I woke up this morning feeling a little groggy, but not too bad. I did chug electrolytes and some water before I slept, so I feel not bad. I am hungry though, so I think I'm gonna make myself like a little cream cheese and tomato sandwich. My brother is like literally 10 years younger than me, but now he's like an adult, so he's not too bad to hang out with. We had fun last night. Here's my little tomato cream cheese toasty. I even was a little bougie and I put flaky salt on top. Mm. I just started the dishwasher. Okay, I got a giant cabbage in my harvest box. And with it, I made a cabbage stir fry with Beyond Steak. Listen, Beyond Meat's great. It's great. But their best product is the little steak tips that come in the bag. It's the best thing they do. So I stir fried it with some soy sauce, some sriracha, some garlic, some sesame oil. We put it over rice and we had it for meal prep. I love cabbage. Roberta's pointing to the cereal that I'm about to eat. This is a pink piece. And then these are some Kemet flakes. That's a brown piece. This is a Kemet flake and a brown piece. Then he's stealing a Kemet flake. Tastes like fluffy air. Um, anyway, uh, this is the Three Wishes strawberry chocolate flavor like specialty for Valentine's Day. It is not that good. Don't get the new special Valentine's Day flavor. It is not good. I like almost all their flavors, but this one just tastes way too artificially strawberry for me. I'm going to the gym, but first I'm grabbing a protein bar. I'll grab a lemon one. You can have it. I don't mind the lemon ones. Do you like the lemon one? I don't mind any. Oh. 
Okay, so I used to eat these protein bars all the time and then I totally forgot they existed. They're from Simply Protein. It's kind of like a Rice crispy. The lemon one is probably the least good flavor, but it's also not bad. There's like a chocolate one and a peanut butter one. Anyway, it looks like this. Ta-da! Um, and Roberto's friend bought some and then we remembered they exist and so now I'm going to probably want to buy more of them. Bye. Roberto bought me a couple lemons so I was able to make a real tangy sauce for my dinner. So this is the Omni pork, some kale, and some rice. Kind of basic, but good. These are the worst pizza bagels I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> well, I made pizza bagels for dinner. Looks like pizza band-aids. Um, but I will be eating it and then having some seltzer on the side. Good night. Good morning, babes. I'm a little busy bee this morning. I've been rushing all morning for several reasons. Um, I'm currently fundraising with the, well, not currently. Once I, you will see this, I won't be fundraising anymore, unless I'm fundraising for something else. Anyway, in this current time in my life, I am fundraising with the team I work with to evacuate some um, medically fragile people out of GAZA, and that's been really stressful and a lot of work. So I've been doing that all morning, but also I've been getting ready to go get a tattoo. Actually, three tattoos, maybe, but definitely two, but maybe three tattoos. So I've been like, you know, making sure everything's ready so I can leave on time. I never want to be late to a tattoo appointment. I haven't had a tattoo since I was like 24, so it's been a while. I made myself a breakfast avocado toast with a few slices of heirloom tomato and flaky sea salt. It's gonna be great. And I also got my local roots harvest box. So let me show you real quick. Ta-da! We got a kabocha squash, apples, pears, red potatoes, beets, a bag of spinach, and these, I do not know what these are, but I've asked my Instagram story and I'm sure they will let me know what they are and how to cook them. So I gotta put this away and just keep running, running. I'll see you later. The tattoo place I went to was absolutely beautiful. It's called Atelier Ava in Williamsburg and my artist's name is Noor. She did like this cute little fig thing on my leg. It's kind of in honor of my dad because he loves fig trees. They remind him of back home. And I also got another tattoo on my hand in honor of my mom. I'll go into depth later on about like the meaning behind these in the future, but I had a really good experience. I also had this protein bar while I was there. This is my second tattoo, by the way, and I'm at Jaja Ja right now. We got the Huila Coche quesadilla and nachos. We're having kind of like a late Valentine's Day dinner. <laughs> I'm very excited to eat. Okay, I want to like just hang out and eat, so I'm not going to record a lot dinner, but I want to try the Huila Coche quesadilla with you guys. Because um, if you guys know, you know. Remember that video I did a long time ago? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Afterwards, we were craving something sweet and there was this Chip City cookie place right next door and I remembered they had vegan options. So we got like two double chocolate brownie cookies and one chocolate chip cookie and we shared them on the car ride home. I'm meal prepping. Um, I made a mac and cheese with some spinach, the spinach that I got in that box. Uh, but I'm also meal prepping some other stuff. While I'm doing that, I've microwaved a ready meal from Strong Roots. It's a black doll. And we're gonna try it. I haven't tried it yet. I'm very picky with frozen meals. I'm so picky. I find most of them quite disgusting. So, I don't even know if I could eat it. Not that, nothing against Strong Roots. Again, I'm, I think I'm the pickiest frozen meal eater out of anyone I know. And the thing is, I'm not a picky eater. So like, there's something about frozen meals that don't tickle my pickle. Lentils and beans and a green curry sauce. Could you see it? Okay. I will eat it. Yes. Oh wait, that wasn't my breakfast. I just want to tell you that for breakfast, I had the same thing I had yesterday, which is uh, little toasty buns with some sliced tomatoes on top. Delicious. And avocado! Okay, I do have a bit of an interesting meal that I have prepped. I just wanted to use up food that I had. So, we have, you know, I'm gonna turn this thing around. Okay, in one plate we have Beyond Meat, like steak tips or whatever they're called. Then I have some diced and roasted potatoes. I have a little roasted onion. And then this is spicy Hidden Valley Vegan Ranch. 
In this I have just boiled beets and sliced up turnips and I'm gonna take the turnips and dip them in the ranch and then the beets I'm kind of gonna have them by themselves because I think boiled beets taste good all on their own. I'm eating a peanut butter and apple sandwich. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm just gonna munch on the other half of this apple because I don't wanna put it in the fridge and then it'll get brown, so I'm gonna eat it. Dinner is Trader Joe's ravioli. Roberto got me this yesterday. Um, and I made the raviolis and I just added some butter and garlic and a little bit of Good Planet's new olive oil cheese. Also, I'm really bad at making ravioli not fall apart. So it fell apart. My raviolis have fallen apart. But the new olive oil cheese is quite good. It's this one, if you see it. Not bad, I like it. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Yummy. Good morning. Uh, third day in a row, same meal, but I just finished my tomato. So this is gonna be the last time I have, oh! That is so me. At least it fell on the counter, not the floor. I feel especially bald today with this slick back. Okay, by the way, slick back is leaving soon because I'm getting a mullet soon. In this video, maybe but soon. So for the past five hours, five hours, for the past five hours, I've been staring at a spreadsheet trying to organize these donations in a way where I can be accountable to everybody. And I finally figured it out. I'm so happy. Oh my God, my eyes feel like they're gonna fall out my head. While I was working, I ate the mac and cheese that I made yesterday, so sorry I didn't record that. It was just like, tunnel vision, but now I'm hungry again. So I made myself oatmeal uh, with chocolate protein powder, almond milk, and peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out whether or not I'm gonna go to the gym or not. I technically shouldn't, because of my tattoo. But I haven't been in a few days, and I really wanna go. We'll see. Okay, so I had grapes in my car for pre-workout. And now, do you remember yesterday when I had like a weird meal and it was like beets and radish and potato and steak tips? I'm gonna eat that. And honestly, I'm tired. I had a long day, so I'm not gonna record it. And I'm sorry, sorry. I need to find a better way to vlog on this channel. I might transform my what I eat weeks. I might just start doing vlogs in general. Bear with me. I feel like my whole page is going through a whole transformation. And those of you who stick around, y'all are the real ones. We're home and I'm still hungry, don't laugh. It's an olive mustard and tofurkey slices sandwich. I know the olives don't work like this, but I wanted pickles or greens or something and I didn't have any, so olives was the best thing I got. So I'm gonna eat this and go to sleep. It's like 11 p.m., I should be sleeping already. I just got out the shower and I'm getting dressed for the day, but I'm hungry, so I made myself two pieces of toast with Kite Hill chive cream cheese. This is the bread from 16 Mill. It's a vegan gluten-free bakery, and it's their like seeded bread, and it's really good. I am a big fan. I'm not naked. Oh, I really toasted that. I put it in the air fryer for like 10 minutes. That was a little too long. Mmm, but yummy. If you're in New York City, and you are vegan and gluten free, go to 16 Mill in Brooklyn. Not only do they make bread, but they also make really good like muffins and scones. They had a chive scone I had one time. Delicious. Look at this meal prep I made. Okay, it looks really gross, but let me explain. The bottom is rice. That doesn't need any explanation. And then I used the Trader Joe's tofu sheets, some spring onion I had in the freezer, some basil I had in the freezer. I was just trying to use things up. And I seasoned it with sesame oil, sriracha, soy sauce, and garlic. Turned out really good. And now I have four meals for the coming week. I'm actually gonna eat one now. Cooking it made me hungry. Mm hmm I really like these Trader Joe's sheets. They're like really high protein and it's easy to cook. But you have to be careful because they're so thin and stuff that they tend to stick to the pan. Mm. 
if you make them in a more caramelizey sauce, they turn out even better. Like something with sugar in it that kind of caramelizes and sticks to the pan. You know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. Okay. Do you remember that giant kabocha squash I got? I roasted it, but I got sick of that like overnight oats situation I was doing that like, no, it wasn't overnight oats. It was like protein pudding. So I'm thinking about doing a protein, a pumpkin smoothie, a protein pumpkin smoothie because look how much pumpkin I got when I roasted that thing. It won't even close. It's, it's huge. It's going to have similar ingredients, but like, you know, usually when people make a protein shake, they put banana in it to be the bulk, the bulky. And instead I'm going to use, so that's the idea, but instead of banana, I'm going to use pumpkin. So we're going to do pumpkin, vanilla protein powder, almond milk, my washer is being loud AF. Okay. 200 grams of pumpkin. Maybe that's a lot. I don't know. We'll see. I just want to use up this. Oh my God. I just want to use up this pumpkin so bad. It's so much. I feel like this is a good amount of pumpkin. I'm going to add pumpkin pie spice. Just like this looks like half a teaspoon and then half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. Orgain vanilla protein powder. And one serving is 46 grams. So we're gonna do that. Probably needs quite a lot of almond milk. It's pretty good. Mm. It doesn't need agave. That's good. I think that's how I'm gonna eat this palm pumpkin or at least the rest of it. Hopefully I don't get sick of eating it this way because it's a lot of pumpkin. Hopefully it doesn't go bad. Maybe I should freeze some of it. I don't know. We'll see. Post workout. This is what we're doing. Remember the, like the beyond steak chips and potatoes. Okay. Well we added impossible chicken nuggets to the pile and we're eating all this with some ketchup. And then we have those beets and radishes that need to be eaten up. So I put some flaky salt on the beets and we're just eating the radishes or turnips. Turnips. I always mix radishes and turnips. I always get thrown off when I eat lots of beets the next day. I um, think something went wrong in my digestive system, but it just read because of beets. Ending my day with some macaroni. This is the macaroni that I ate yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. And I forgot to record it. Um, it's just a little cheese sauce on some pasta with spinach and Trader Joe's little crumbles. Good night. Good morning. So, okay. So for breakfast, I had, whoa. for breakfast, I had avocado toast, but the bread I used was avocado bread. It's bread made with avocados and I did avocado toast on top. And then I added pickled turnips that I made. One second. This is the avocado bread I used and it's really good. I really like it. And then these are the homemade pickled turnips I made. I wanted to put it in a jar, but I ran out of jars. So I put it in this like ninja creamy thing. And now we're about to have lunch. I made mac and cheese um, with the Trader Joe's crumbles to add some protein into it. And I'm using the new Good Planet cheddar cheese with olive oil. And again, really good. Also my battery's dying, so bye. I'm having a little pre-workout tofu scramble with ketchup, gray poupon, and sriracha. These are some little purple sweet potatoes. And by the time I post this, it's going to be silly because um, there won't be any left. But I just got this whole bag of assorted chewy fruities from Tori and Howard. And this is like an expensive candy brand for $2.75 at Rite Aid because it was in the like post Valentine's Day section. I'm very excited about this. And I had one on the way home. And here we have some nachos with, they're like pizza nachos, I guess, cause I put tomato sauce, tomato sauce and cheese, pizza nachos. You stop. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> okay, Berto made me pancakes, look. Okay, he made us pancakes. He asked me how many I want. One. Well, that's a burnt. You hit it's that one. You hit that one. It's not burnt. You hit the ugly one. <laughs> listen, listen. Let me explain, though. Yeah. Listen. All right. So first of all, 
the first b batch of pancakes, if you're doing three at once, I did three at once. The first one is always bad, so the first three was always bad. This, the heat was too high, obviously, but it was still not burnt. Don't judge my pancakes. And then, these were a little bit more liquidy than I did before, so, like, it kind of was, like, touching, so my flipping skills wasn't that great today, but... I'll anyway, take three, thanks. Right I'll take three. I'll take the ones that your hands haven't been all over. <laughs> That's Birdo's share. That's my share. This is a spare one for if I get hungry. And then if I'm not hungry, he'll, he'll eat it on top of this. And that is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I put my Instagram right here. Also, I'm revamping my Patreon. If you want to support any of the aid work I do with refugees, check out my Patreon. Um, I'm also maybe founding a nonprofit soon. What is life? Life is crazy. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Don, Susan, Trudy, Clark, Howie, Chris, and Chels. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!